What's going on guys, it's Percy TCG here, and today I want to take a moment to talk about something that's been on my mind, and I believe it's something many of us have experienced. The challenge of shrinking player base in the absence of thriving local scene. But you shouldn't you shouldn't lose heart for the game because of that. You really shouldn't. Um, we all know that Battle Spirits is an incredible game, filled with strategy, excitement, and an amazing community. I mean, it's unfortunate when players quit or when local scenes struggle. But remember, we're the backbone of the game at the end of the day, and together we can make a difference. Uh, so let's stay strong, keep pushing forward despite the obstacles. We have the power to create our own vibrant community, whether through online platforms, regional events, or hosting our own tournaments, right? So let's be the catalysts for the change to show just how great Battle Spirit Saga is. Um, to all those that have stuck around, I want to first off say thank you for sticking to the game. Your dedication and passion inspire others to keep going. And those who may feel a bit discouraged about, you know, people leaving or people not wanting to really get into the game, remember that you're not alone. Um, I'm sure there are many, many others that have experienced this problem. Um, but you, you just gotta be strong. Uh, reach out to other Battle Spirits communities, and both online and offline. We're here to support each other, not just to be like, oh hey, I'm the best at the game, a, a, a brand new card game, I'm the best. Like, no, we don't want any of that. This is, it's nothing like that. Um, I, we just need to rise above the challenge, man, and embrace the competitive spirit and continue to grow our love and Together we can forge a brighter future for the game. Uh, I just want to say thank you all for watching. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. It's it helps a ton and hit the like. It's, it's supporting your content creators is just as important as um, supporting the game itself because the content creators obviously put content out there for other people to watch and notice the game. So uh, sorry for bit of a long intro but i just felt like i needed to get that out there i've seen a little too much of uh people claiming that the game is dying although the game is just starting out okay we're, we're like the pioneers so we just need to stick to it and i hope you guys have a blessed day enjoy we have more green reveals today boys and uh i mean it's just more start deck stuff which is still exciting um I can't wait for BSSO2. They said something about tomorrow they're going to start doing reveals on set 2, so I will be covering that as well. So first off we have Caprihorn. During your opponent's attack step, at the start of the step, this spirit has a soul core on it, place a core from your trash into your reserve. So this card being a 1 cost, I could definitely see this being splashed into other decks, um, being like a tech option for a lot of people. I, I could also see it just being looked completely over and nobody cares about it. It's, it could also flop hard and not be a good card at all. So um, Next we have a Nexus here, Sacred Tree Stump City. During your attack step, the first spirit you control that attacks each turn gains a thousand BP for each green spirit you control. So this is something you can't really splash in other decks. This is like a green only, which I don't think it's a bad Nexus. I think it's a really good Nexus if you uh, pump up your X-Rare with this uh, Nexus. And then level 2, during your opponent's attack step, draw a card when your opponent reduces your life. I don't think that effect's very good. <laughs> it's not very good for being a level 2 effect, so... Uh, next we have Savage Power. First, when your opponent destroys your spirit, you may summon a green card from your hand by using cores from your reserve to pay its cost and place cores onto it. You may then pay this card's cost to activate its flash effect, and then you just give up your spirit uh, 2k BP. It's good for green, I guess. Uh, then we have Matangle, Matangly, Matangle. I don't know, but that boy swole as hell. Uh, when summoned, you may exhaust the spirit to place a core from the void onto it. Again, I could. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna say that. I. I it's only on summon you get extra core. 
So in green, this would be be nice because you got other things that also give you a single core. But in, in any other deck, I don't see this really working too well. Just an on summon plus one core. Good effect, but not for only green. Just only green. And we have Airborne Crag. Uh, during either attack step, when one of your spirits is summoned, it gains 2,000 BP during this turn. During your end step, refresh any of your spirits with a soul core on them. That's a pretty good effect. It's pretty good. You have to commit two cores to your Nexus, but I don't even think you'd be running this Nexus with uh, stuff that's coming out in BSSO2, honestly. You could, you might. I have no idea what's coming out in BSSO2, so yeah, it's all right. Needle Shot, I feel like this card right here is gonna be used by literally everyone as soon as it comes out, man. It's only a three cost, it's like one of your opponent's spirits and exhaust it. So it's a, you go swing, Flash step, okay, exhaust that one. I don't want that one blocking. It's 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 pretty good. And then there's nothing with like white right now, right? White control. You have your Pegasium. Well, Pegasium can still block it while exhausted, but you have the uh, the axe biters, right? You have the <laughs> this this. Y'all want to talk about sauce for axe biter? Look at this fucking guy right here. This guy right here counters axe biter. Uh, but yeah, I feel like this card's gonna be used by, like, everyone. Literally everyone. Um, multiple cores. I know I'm gonna throw this into my spicy deck list that I've been working on. Uh, when opponent resolves a spirit's one summon effect, select one of your opponent's spirits and exhaust it. You may then pay this card's cost to activate its main effect. Select one of your spirits, place a core from the void onto it. This second effect... It's so good. It's so, so good. Because in green, it's basically free. Um, you also have cards like Pentan. You have other cards that can reduce the cost. Uh, I'm not going to say other cards that reduce the cost. All we have is Pentan. But you, you, you're picking up what I'm putting down. It's basically a free, soul, free core. Sorry. And I could definitely see this being kind of a, a niche... Um, what it what tech option? There we go. So that that's that's about all that does it for the green reveals today. Uh, I was gonna go to the, to the zodiacs a little bit, but I, I'm I'm gonna wait a little bit for the next set uh, reveals. I'm gonna wait for those, see what stuff we see, and then I'll probably start doing things on that. So I hope you guys enjoy it and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, help support your local community and see you guys in the next one. Peace.